There. Now, what do you say? What do you say? I love you, Miss Hannigan. Rotten orphan. I'm not an orphan. My mother and father left the note saying they loved me and they were coming back for me. That was 
Has the carpet been put down in the dining room? Yes, miss. Has the sideway side been too? Yes, miss. All is in order, miss, and Mrs. Pugh has prepared his favorite meal. Great. Now, would you all come here for a moment, please? Quickly, everyone. This is Annie. She'll be with us for Christmas. Annie, this is everyone. Hi, everyone. May I take your coat, miss? Will I get it back? Of course, dear. Now, what do you want to do first? The floors. I'll rub them. That'll get to the windows. Oh, no, dear. You won't have to do any cleaning. You're our guest. And for the next two weeks, you're going to have a swell time. Now. Uh, let's see. The Duesenberg, please. 
No, wait. This child's been cooped up in an orphanage. We'll walk. Walk to the Roxy? Why not? It's only 45 blocks. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, smell those bus tubes. There's no air like the air of New York. <laughs> Hurry up, you slow folks. We gotta get the Roxy before the prices change. more 
wonderful news. Merry Christmas, Miss Hagen. Hoopsa! Pardon me! Pardon me! Hi, sis! Long time to see! Rooster? They finally let you out of prison? What were you in for this time? A small geezer said I swung with him. I don't want to ruin bugs. And why'd he say that? Because the rooster slithered him out of 1100 bucks. Does <laughs> I get away from front of my girl? Jersey City! Miss Lilla Saint Regis. Rooster, do me a favor. Get out of here! So, who's the blonde here bumped into when I come in? I got here a couple of dollars. She works for Oliver Warbucks. The Oliver Warbucks? The millionaire? No. The billionaire. Annie, one of the orphans from here, is getting adopted by him. Crummy orphan. Yeah, look at the luck of washing up the two handy kids and then up on the skids. It ain't fair how we scrunch for three old four bucks. While she gets four bucks. The little brat. Yes, yes, Mr. President. No, I'm not asking for your help, but I am telling you, you've got to do something. All right, we'll talk about it on Friday. Friday. Listen, Mr. President, can we bury the hatchet and you and Mrs. Roosevelt come here for supper Christmas Eve? You will? Wonderful. Goodbye, Mr. President. Grace, find out what Democrats eat. Yes, sir. <laughs> the package from Tiffany's. It arrived this morning. Fine. I'm going to give it to her and tell her that I want to adopt her. She's going to be the happiest little girl in the world. Can you get her down here, please? Yes, sir. Hello. Annie. Can we have a man-to-man -man talk? You're sending me back to the orphanage. No, of course not. Annie, I was born into a very poor family. And both my parents died before I was 10 years old. And I, I really need to, to tell you that it's been very, very difficult. So. I was in Tiffany's the other day. 
And I got this for you. For me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Warbucks. Aw, oh, gee. Annie, it's a silver locket. And I've been noticing that old beat up one that you always wear. And I said to myself, I'm going to get that kid a brand new locket. So we'll just take this one off and... No! I don't want a new one. Annie, what is it? It was my mother and father. They left this with me at the orphanage. With a note, too. They're coming back for me. And I know I'm real lucky staying here for Christmas with you. But the one thing I want in all the world <laughs> is to find my real mother and father. And to be just like every other kid with folks of my own. It'll be all right, Annie. I'll find them. I'll find your parents for you. Mr. Warbucks will find your mother and father if he has to put everybody in his organization on the job, if he's pulled every political string there is to pull. Up to and including the White House. Now, Annie, give me your locket. But, Mr. Warbucks. No, no, I understand. But remember, it could be our best clue. I'll have the FBI trace it, and we'll find out who bought it. Then maybe they should have my note, too. Don't worry, Annie. You could be speaking with your parents in a matter of a couple of days. Really? Really. Oh boy, I gotta write the kids a letter about this. Thank <laughs> you. 
here on the front stoop. Our little girl, our Annie. Your Annie's parents? I don't believe it. Where do you say you come from again? A little farm up in Canada where they got lots of chickens and ducks and geese. Oh, 
Oh God, the kids, it'll be way past their bedtime tonight. I'll tell you what we'll do. Tomorrow we'll have everyone from the orphanage here for a big Christmas party. And Miss Hannigan? Why not? Annie, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. And I'm the luckiest kid. <laughs>
told you we've been up all night. What with FBI men coming and going. And did you know that President Roosevelt was here? Really? Mr. President. Merry Christmas, President Roosevelt. Merry Christmas, Annie. Earlier today, FBI Director Hoover telephoned me with some very sad news. He succeeded in tracing the identity of your parents. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Mudge. No, dear. David and Margaret Bennett. But. Annie. Annie, your mother and father have passed away a long time ago. You mean I'm an orphan after all? Annie, are you all right? Yes. Because they know they loved me. And they would have come for me if they weren't. I love you, Annie Bennett. And I love you, too. Now, who the heck are Ralph and Shirley Mudge? Well, the birth certificate could have easily been forged, but nobody knew about the lock except us. And, of course, the FBI. And Miss Hannigan! And Miss Hannigan! Miss Hannigan, sir, and the children from the orphanage. Hi, kids! Ah, uh, Miss Hannigan, I'm delighted to meet you. Same here, and I know you anywhere. Let me introduce you to everyone. Of course, you know my secretary, Miss Farrell. And this is the President of the United States. And this is my butler, Drake. Look, kids, there's presents here for all of us. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Horbucks, this has just come from the FBI. Ah, uh, now it all fits together. Sir, Mr. and Mrs. Mudge. Good morning. Merry Christmas, one and all. <clears throat> Merry Christmas. Well, we don't want to bother you on Christmas and all. We just came to pick up Annie. And the check. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The check. Here it is, Mr. Mudge, $50,000 certified. Certified? Pay to the order of... The jig is up? Yes, Daniel Francis Hannigan, the jig is up. Also known as... Brewster Hannigan, also known as Ralph Mudge, also known as Danny the Dick. Lewis, turn them over. Yes, sir. And I believe you'll find that this woman is their accomplice. I've never seen these people until yesterday! Ah, come off it, Annie! 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 Tell them how good and nice I always was to you. Gee, I'm sorry, Miss Hannigan, but remember the one thing you always told me? Never tell a lie. Brat! Miss Hannigan has gone for good. Yay! And you won't have to work anymore. Wonderful new life. A new deal. Hey, I really like that. A new deal. I do too, frankly. A new deal.
Now, for this one's shenanigans, you'll all get down on your knobby little knees and play Miss Dunk till it shines like the top of the Chrysler building. But it's 4 o'clock in the morning. But it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Get to work. Yes.
York as soon as I take a bite.
said, yeah. Come and take a ward to 17th Precinct. You found her runaway. Oh, thank you, officer. She was in one of them Hoovervilles over to the river with a bunch of bums. They weren't bums. Had a magey mug with her, but he got away. Oh, poor pumpkin. Out in the freezing cold. We just that thin sweater. I hope we didn't catch the influenza. Thanks so much again, officer. Oh, the line is me. And you, don't ever let me hear you run away again from this nice lady. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, officer. The next time you walk out that door, it'll be 1953. Well, are you glad to be back, huh? Yes, Miss Hannigan. Liar! What's the one thing I always taught you? Never tell a lie! Good afternoon, Miss Hannigan. Yes? I'm Grace Farrell, private secretary to Oliver Warbucks. The Oliver Warbucks? The millionaire? Mr. Warbucks has decided to invite each orphan to spend the Christmas holidays at home. What sort of orphan did he have in mind? Well, she used to be friendly. And intelligent. Mississippi, can you let was it, was it? Yeah, Mississippi. And cheerful. <laughs>
All is in order, miss, and Mrs. Pew has prepared his favorite meal. Great. Now, to all come here for a moment, please. Quickly, everyone. This is Annie. She'll be with us for Christmas. Annie, this is everyone. Hi, everyone. May I take your coat, miss? Will I get it back? Of course, dear. Now, what do you want to do first? The floors. I'll scrub them. Then I'll get to the windows. Oh, no, Annie. You won't have to do any cleaning. You're our guest. And for the next two weeks, you're going to have a swell time. Now. Which 
car will you be wanting, sir? I think the, the Dusenberg. No, wait. This child's been cooped up in an orphanage. We'll walk. Walk to the Roxy? Why not? It's only 45 bucks. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ah, smell those bus fumes. There's no air like the air in New York. <laughs> Come on, you slow folks. You gotta get to the Roxy before the prices change. Once again, we bring you the romance of Helen Trent, who sets out to prove that just because a woman is 35 or more, romance in life need not be over. God, I hope not. 
Good afternoon, Miss Hannigan. What's the matter? Four bucks fed up with Annie already. On the contrary, Miss Hannigan, this has to be signed and sent back to the Board of Orphans no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow. What for? Because Mr. Warbucks is so taken with Annie and he wants to adopt her. Annie? The daughter of a millionaire? No. The daughter of a billionaire. Could you excuse me for a moment, please? Fine. 
I'm going to give it to her and tell her that I want to adopt her. She's the happiest little girl in the world. You get her down here, please? Yes, sir. Hello. Ann, can we have a man to man talk? You're sending me back to the orphanage. No, of course not. Annie, I was born into a very poor family, and I lost both my parents before I was 10. So I made myself a promise. Someday, somehow, I was going to be very rich. That was a good idea. Yes, but lately I realized something. If you have no one to share your life with, if you're alone, you might as well be broke. I was in Tiffany's yesterday, and I picked this up for you. For me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Warbucks. Aw, oh, gee. Yeah, it's a silver locket. I've been noticing that old beat-up one that you always wear, and I thought to myself, I'm going to get that kid a brand new locket. What is it, Annie? It was my mother and father. They left this with me at the orphanage, with the note, too. They're coming back for me. And I know I'm real lucky staying here for Christmas with you, but the one thing I want in all the world is to find my real mother and father and to be just like every other kid with folks of my own. It'll be all right, Annie. I'll find them. I'll find your parents for you. Mr. Warbucks will find your mother and father. If he has to put everybody in his organization a job, if he has to pull every political string there is to pull, up to and including the White House. Now give me your locket, Annie. But Mr. Warbucks. No, I understand, but it could be our best clue. We'll have the FBI trace it and find out who bought it. Then maybe they should have my note too. Don't worry, Annie. It could be meeting your parents within a couple of days. Really? Really. Oh boy, I gotta write the kids a letter about this. $50,000 
that anyone who can prove they're Annie's parents. Wow, so Annie's parents. If you're listening in, write to Oliver Warbucks, care of this station. Thank you, Oliver Warbucks. Thank you, Bertha Healy. Well, I see by the old clock on the wall that another of our Thursday night get togethers has gone by faster than you can say, Oxy did. Yes, this is your old softy Bertha Healy say. Until next week, same time, same station. And good night.
people who came to be your parents, but they're all liars and fakes. Aw, oh, gee. Are you certain? Yes, sir. None of them even knew about the locket. I'm so sorry. I was sure somebody was going to be my mother and father. Mr. Woods, this has just arrived by a special messenger from the FBI. Ah, uh, finally. Agent Gunnerson has located the manufacturer of Annie's Locket in Utica, New York. Oh, boy! Over 90,000 were made and sold. Aw, oh, gee. Annie, I'm afraid the FBI doesn't think there's a chance in a million of tracing your parents through the locket. I'm sorry. That's okay. You did your best. Anyways, a kid could get along without folks. You didn't turn out so bad. Grace? Yes, sir. Do you have those legal papers I gave you the other day? Right here. Thank you. Annie, I want to adopt you. Adopt me? Yes or no? Well, if I can't have my real mother and father, there's no one else in the world. I'd rather have her father than you, Mr. Warbucks. Annie? This is not going to be just an adoption party. This is going to be a celebration. And you can have anyone in the world you want to come to. Who would you like? Well, of course, Miss Farrell here. And Drake. And Mrs. Pugh. And, well, everybody here. Drake? Yes, sir? Tell the staff to get spiffed up. They're going to be the guests at Annie's adoption party. Yes, sir. Oh, and the kids. Oh, the kids. You know, it's going to be way too late for them tonight, way past their bedtime. I'll tell you what we'll do tomorrow. We'll get everyone from the orphanage here for a big Christmas party. And Miss Hannigan? Why not? Annie, I'm the luckiest man in the world. And I'm the luckiest kid. Oh. 
dollars, we can afford to bring Annie up right in the country. Would you mind if Annie stayed here tonight until tomorrow, Christmas? And then you could come back and pick up Annie and the check? Who does you prefer, sir? Bye, Annie. Love. Until tomorrow morning, honey. And then you'll be spending the rest of your life with us. Oops, I thought of me. Well, honey. Well, this is... Wonderful news. Drake, champagne. Yes, sir. We must celebrate. We've just had the most wonderful news in the world. Annie has found her mother and father. I propose a toast to Annie Mudge. To Annie Mudge. Annie. Annie. I've lost her. I've lost my Annie. Sir, I have a strange feeling that I've seen that Mr. Mudge before, that he's not who he says he is. Well, then I won't let her go until we're certain. But how? I'll find a way. I'll go right to the top, to the President of the United States, even if he is a Democrat. Mudge, 
$50,000 certified, certified, paid to the order of the jig is up. Yes, the jig is up, Daniel Francis Hannigan, also known as Mr. Hannigan, also known as Ralph Mudge, also known as Danny the Dick. Lewis, turn them over. Yes, sir. And I think you'll find that this woman is their accomplice. I've never seen these people till yesterday. Ah, oh, come off it, Aggie. Annie! Annie! Oh, how good and nice I always was to you. Gee, I'm sorry, Miss Hannigan, but remember the one thing you've always told me? Never tell a lie. Right! Miss Hannigan is gone for good. Yay! And you won't have to work anymore. Yes, girls, for you and perhaps all of us, this Christmas is going to be the beginning of a wonderful new life. A new deal. Hey, I really like that. A new deal. <laughs>
midnight. Yes, Miss Hannigan. Wandering, wandering around. Morning, models. Morning, kids. Clean kids, what the fuck? Whether you need them or not. Hey, 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 Maggie. How's the brings you out on 14th Street? Bundles, get out of here with that laundry. So long, gorgeous.
bed. It took 11 hours. Grace? Yes, sir. Messages. President Roosevelt wants you to call him at the White House. I'll get back to him tomorrow. Mr. Horvath. Good to see you all again. Sir? Drake, dismiss the staff, please. And Grace, if you'll just get your notebook. Who is that? This is Annie, Mr. Warbus. The orphan will be with us for Christmas. That's not a boy. Orphans are boys. I'm sorry, sir. You just an orphan, so I chose a girl. Well, I suppose you'll have to do. Annie, huh? Annie what? Oh, I'm just Annie, Mr. Warbucks. Sir, I haven't got any last name. I'm sorry I'm not a boy. Oh, no, not at all. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Grace, we'll start with the uh, triggers on the Iron Horse ship. What are we supposed to do with this child? Well, it is her first night here, sir. Hmm. Annie, I suppose on your first night, we ought to do something special. Would you like to go to a movie? Gosh, Mr. Warbucks, I've never been to one. Well, then you'll go to the Roxy, and an ice cream soda at Ripple Mayors, and a handsome cab ride around Central Park. Golly! Grace, forget about the dictation for tonight. You take Annie to the movies. Yes, sir. Oh, gee. Something the matter, Annie? Well, it's just that I thought you were going to take me. Oh, no, I'll be far too busy tonight. Oh, gee. Now, Annie, I've just returned from a six-week trip away. And when a man is running a multi-billion dollar corporation... That's okay, Mr. Warbucks. I understand. Drake? Yes, sir? Get our coats. Aw, oh, gee! And Grace, of course, you'll come, too. Yes, sir. Which car will you be wanting, sir? Let's see. Um, let's take the Duesenberg. No? Wait a minute. This child's been cooped up in an orphanage. We'll walk. Walk to the Roxy? Why not? It's only 45 blocks. Yes, sir. <laughs> Annie, ah, smell those bus fumes. There's no air like the air of New York. Hurry up, you slow pups. You gotta get to the Roxy before the prices change.
again we bring you the romance of Ellen Trent, who sets out to prove that just because a woman is 35 or more, romance in life need not be over. God, I hope not. What's the matter? Poor Buck's fed up with Annie already. On the contrary, Miss Hannigan, this has to be signed and sent back to the Board of Orphans no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow. What for? Because Mr. Warbrook is so taking with Annie that he wants to adopt her. Annie, the daughter of a millionaire? No, the daughter of a billionaire. Could you excuse me for a moment, please? <laughs>
and I lost both my parents before I was 10. So I made a promise to myself, someday, one way or another, I was going to be rich, very rich. But, you lost his I had rightly realized something. If you have no one to spend your life with, if you're alone, then you might as well be broke. Annie, I was in Tiffany's the other day, and I picked this up for you. For me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Warbucks. Aw, oh, gee. Annie, it's a silver locket. I've been noticing that old broken one that you always wear, and I said to myself, I'm going to get that kid a brand new locket. Let's just take this old one off and... No, I don't want a new one. Annie, what is it? It was my mother and father. They left this with me at the orphanage with a note too. They're coming back for me. And I know I'm real lucky to stay here for Christmas with you, but the one thing I want in all the world is to find my real mother and father and to be just like every other kid with folks of my own. It'll be all right, Annie. I'll find them. I'll find your parents for you. Mr. Warbucks will find your mother and father. If he has to put everybody in his organization a job, he could be useful every political string there's a goal. Up to and including the White House. Now, Annie, give me your locket. But, Mr. Warbucks. No, I understand, but it could be our best clue. We'll have the FBI analyze it and find out who bought it. Then maybe they should have my note, too. Annie, don't worry. You could be meeting your parents within a couple of days. Really? Really. Oh, boy, I gotta write the kids a letter about this.
be in the movies. Now get to bed! Yes, Miss Hannigan. A $50,000 reward. 50000 What I couldn't do with $50,000. Excuse us, ma'am. Are you the lady that wants us to do an orphanage? Yeah, what do you want? Were you working here 11 years ago? Yeah. Well, we had terrible troubles back then. And we had to leave the baby here on the front stoop. Our little girl, our Annie. Your Annie's parents? I don't believe it. Where do you say you come from again? A little farm up in Canada where they got lots of chickens and ducks and geese. This is going to be a celebration, and you can have anyone in the world you want to come to it. Who would you like? Well, of course, Miss Farrell here, and Drake, and Mrs. Pugh, and, well, everybody here. Drake? Yes, sir? Tell the staff to get spiffed up. They're going to be the guests at Annie's adoption party. Yes, sir. Oh, and the kids. Oh. I'm afraid it'll be way past their bedtime tonight. I'll tell you what we'll do. Tomorrow we'll have everyone from the orphanage here for a big Christmas party. And Miss Hannigan? Why not? Annie, 
I'm the luckiest man in the world. And I'm the luckiest kid.
You're up early. You're up early too. Oh dear. We've been up all night. What with FBI men coming and going. And did you know that President Roosevelt is here? Really? Mr. President. Merry Christmas, President Roosevelt. Merry Christmas, Annie. Annie, earlier today, FBI Director Hoover telephoned me with some very sad news. He succeeded in tracing the identity of your parents. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Mudge. No, dear. David and Margaret Bennett. But. Annie. Annie, your mother and father passed away a long time ago. You mean I'm an orphan after me? Are you all right, Annie? Yes, because I knew they loved me, and they would come for me if they weren't. I love you, Annie Bennett. And I love you, too. Now, who the hell are Ralph and Shirley Mudge? Well, the worst was if you could have easily been forced, but nobody knew about the locket except us. Oh, and the FBI, of course. And Miss Hannigan! And Miss Hannigan! Miss <laughs> Hannigan, sir, and the children from the orphanage. Hi, kids! Ah, Miss Hannigan, I'm delighted to meet you. Same here, and I know you anywheres. Let me introduce you to everyone. Of course, you know my secretary, Miss Frill. And this is the President of the United States. And this is my <laughs> butler, Drake. Look it, there's presents here for all of us. Mr. Warbucks, this is just arrived from the FBI. Ah, now it all fits together. <laughs> Sir, Mr. and Mrs. Mudge, good morning. Merry Christmas, one and all. Merry Christmas. Well, we didn't want to bother you. That's Christmas and all. We just came to pick up the Andy. And the check. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, the check. Here it is, Mr. Mudge. $50,000 certified. Certified? Pay to the order of the jig is up. Yes, Daniel Francis Hannigan, the jig is up. Also known as. Mr. Hannigan, also known as Ralph Mudge, also known as Danny the Dick. Lewis, turn them over. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I believe you'll find that this woman is their accomplice.